This man here had a huge game for the Lions Saturday in that win out of Thibodeau. That one's from NBA range, and he hits it. Joshua Fillmore's first triple of the game, who has won two in a row but has struggled for parts of this year to try and hang with Southeastern early. They'll try and answer with the three and do so. With UNO, Nichols, and Southeastern right there at the top. See if Corpus Christi can get on track here. There's a long three. From the corner, here's South. That's oh, two triples in a row. Oh, stop it. Ray, single man coverage. The left-handed fadeaway is good. Well, kind of a physical play. And Veal grimacing as he comes back up the floor. There's a hustle play and a big block. Jordan Caps got up. Veal can't get a screen, backs it out. Caps down low, working 1v1. Polanco, hop, skip, and a jump to Caps. Off the window and in. Count it. That's a great move by Polanco. Polanco guarded by South. Can't get off a good look. Comes away with a loose ball. South shown some very nice defense early on. Made it tough for Polanco and the other guards. Veal. Great elevation. Caps will kick it back to him. Long three ball. Got it right as the buzzer sounded. Trying to get it down low. Quentin Thomas can't do it. Veal will drive himself. Runs into his own man. Five on the shot clock. Here's Polanco for distance. Got it. Back-to-back -back threes for Southeastern, and they've climbed back in it. Finished the game with 11 points, but also finishes the team's leading rebounder. Hits some big free throws down the stretch. Too much backcourt pressure led to an open look, but Texas A&M Corpus Christi can't finish. And now a chance to pull within one, maybe tie it. Polanco. Got it! Two triples in the game for Polanco, and we're tied up. Brand new ball game. Coming out in transition, Quentin Thomas. Caps off balance and he got it to fall. Southeastern takes the lead. Miles Smith looking to distribute back to Smith near side. They're doing a good job of blanketing Schmidt down low. They'll try a triple and it's good. They're fifth of the game. Yep. Fillmore caught in the corner, throws it back out to Veal. Veal, nice stutter step. Here's about an 18 footer, good. Right off the elbow by James Currington. Here, Jay Ladd is screaming, let's go. He wants to see his Lions pick up the pace a little bit here. Fillmore with the open look, and he buries the triple. His second of the game. If Fillmore can get hot, it could be a long night for Corpus Christi. He's third all time. The alley-oop to Ray, and that continues to put them in the lead, 30-29. 13 points on 5-9 shooting. South turned it over, got it back. The feed down low, and that's taken away. Nice hustle play there by Singleton. Couple of open looks at the bucket. Well, that's a big break for the Lions if they miss a close one like that. Polanco with his third triple of the game. And he's now your leading scorer for Southeastern with 11. The Islanders have yet to attempt a three-pointer after going five of 11 from behind the big line in the first, except for that one right there. Oh, it's a long two. He's been a difference tonight for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. His team now leads by five. Polanco dribbles past Hale, drives the lane. The handoff to Caps. He'll get it to go anyway after running over Hale. Ray, catch and shoot. It's good. Charleston will take it up the floor himself. Good form there, and it falls for Quentin Thomas. Rose up and stuck it. He had it right there at point blank range. That was Sean Ray with that block. Joe Kilgore comes in with four fouls and hits a three ball. Kilgore tonight with six points. Their leading scorer gives it up to South. South with 14 points on the night. Fillmore had a foot on the line. They would have called it a three if it fell. Now Singleton. Well, we just highlighted it. He puts one through the rim. Hashtag Southland strong tonight. The Islanders come up big against Southeastern.